plant once, harvest for years. Fall is the absolute best time to plant your fruiting trees or your fruiting bushes. Time for rain comes, you got a great root system and the plant is off and running. So I'm gonna show you four plants that I believe every backyard gardener should have. Possibly need, so blueberries should be on everybody's list. Right, we got first one is blueberries. Everybody loves blueberries. These are rabbit eye, because we're down here in zone eight. They grow real well down here. These are not very old. We just got them planted. I have four of them in this garden, and there will be more blueberries on these four plants than we could ever possibly need. Number two, grapes. This is Concord Seedless Grapes. It's one of our favorite grapes that we could possibly grow. And if you have never came out in your garden and picked fresh grapes, unbelievable at the taste. They taste completely different than what you go in the grocery store and buy. These are very great growers. Once you get them established, they take off in these arbors that we use, these cattle panel arbors are very easy and inexpensive to build and they'll hold the weight of them. Um, it's real easy to grow. And I think every gardener should look into having grapes. Now I would check to your zone to see what grapes grows best for you. But for us, it's the Concord seedless grape. I'm in the South, you know, we got muscadine, which is nothing more than a Southern grape to us. There's three different varieties here. And these are huge producers. Uh, it's an Ison and a Black Beauty. And I can't remember what the other one is, but these three paired together gives us a huge harvest. If we can keep the deer off of them, they really like them in the squirrel. Real easy to grow. You get them planted, put some fertilizer, get your soil right, and they'll take off and you will harvest them for years because where else are you gonna make your muscadine wine from? Everybody's favorite apples you got to have apples these trees this is their second year uh, kept the fruit picked off of them next year i will just let them go we got them in the wood chips they have done very well and one thing about apples you need two different varieties so they can cross pollinate or just load up on your favorite type apple and add a crab apple to it so they can pollinate Apples are very easy to grow. Make sure you buy the dwarf or the semi dwarf so you don't have to get real high to pick them or learn to trim them where that the low bushes trim them so that the center is open and that the leaves stick down so you don't have to get real high to pick them. But apples is, is a favorite in every backyard and it doesn't take a whole lot of room. You can grow a lot of food in a short Now's the time to, to plant them in the fall. So pick your favorite type, get them in the ground, and you'll be off and running. Number four, and my all-time favorite fruit tree, Asian pear. Guys, if you've never came out and picked a fresh Asian pear off a tree, the taste is unbelievable. It will become your favorite in a beat of a heart. I have three here, three different varieties. They produce more pears than we could possibly use. And there's so many different ish, so many different uses for it. You make pear preserves, you can eat them, you make jelly from them. It's just unbelievable. And the taste, it's just off the chart. In and taste. just like our apple trees, we have these in the wood chips because they benefit from a fungal dominated soil. And these, these are much older than the apple trees because we planted these five, six, seven years ago. But like the apple trees, make sure that you plant a dwarf or a semi-dwarf. And I know some people that's got some that's about 30 foot tall. Bart, that pear down here that is not a dwarf or a semi-dwarf, it's got to be some kind of giant. Because guys, I bet you the top of it's got to be pushing 45, maybe 50 feet. It's growing straight up more than bunching out and i can't get to the top of it even with the fruit picker that i got so i just have to wait till they fall so pick the right tree get your soil right that's my four fruiting trees or plants vines that i think every backyard gardener should have 
and they will come in at different times. You will get your blueberries, then you, you will get, get Asian pears, apples. then you'll get your apples, and then your musky dimes and grapes will follow it up. So you can have a succession of picking your fruit. It's very easy to do. It doesn't take a whole lot of room. So get out there and plant you some fruit trees and enjoy the taste of it because we don't know what they do to our food, you know, to get it shipped in from wherever. That's why I say if you grow it, you know it. You know you can come out here and the kids can get it and they know they're eating something good and wholesome for them. So it's not hard to do. It's nothing oh. better than coming out in your backyard and picking your own fruit. I hope this helps somebody. Plant you something and grow it yourself.